Now again, the encapsulation is very important and if not done properly, that's why I say you can use that assistance tool to find and do whatever you need to do. All right, so in this video, um, there's uh, gonna be a lot of questions about like using structure text timers. There always is, um, especially on my YouTube channel. So I wanna make sure I answer that right off the bat. Um, now in, in code, um, code says it's a little bit different. So I wanna make sure we spill this out and, and talk about this. So when you're declaring the variable up top, right? Like say for instance, we call this timer. We call this timer and we're declaring the instance. Now, how did I de declare the instance? It's easy. You come over here and you come over into this section right here and you add a variable and you can do it that way. Or you come over here, you come over to um, the section right here where you're gonna add the uh, structure text types. You come in here to standard types or structure text types and you go to right here uh, you go to uh, the standard and you're going to go to timer and you're going to go right here that's going to add it in there for you now here's the thing behind this the way this is written is already spilled out for you so in structure text it's going to tell you the way it's supposed to be written okay now again this is going to come back and talk and and, and i want you to I want you to really come down here and, and look at this information base right here because it gives you an example and this is this is going to greatly help you okay so what this is going to do is going to easily do that now how did I get to that again I came up here and I went to um, input right assistance right right so again input assistance Came over here from standard. I changed to structure text type. Went to standard, timer, and then right there. That's where I picked it. Okay, so that's going to give you an instance. So you can actually copy this down into like a notepad. All right. Let's just say you open up Notepad, um, and I actually picked the wrong one. So a little too, a little too quick to the draw there and you could put that in there and have that for your notes now what that's saying is this is the actual instance we're going to use now then i made a, a bool called a start push button then i made one for control relay for it's a bool and then one for lapse time which is just a time base right now coming in and using that okay using that down here i'm going to blow this up a little bit closer so you can see it <clears throat> okay so what I did is exactly what it tells you to do okay as I came in here and I said my timer and I encapsulated it with brackets and I said my input is equal to my start push button okay then I put a comma then I put the PT as the timer preset okay this is the preset for the timer and if you're, you recall back in the ladder logic we had to put that time base as t number t number sign and then whatever we wanted in my case i'm using one second right here one second okay and in the case of what they're doing what we're doing is i'm saying i want my control relay to turn on when the timer is finished when it's done okay so when the timer is done <clears throat> just like that then i want to have the time that's passed the time that's passed be represented by the time in the ET right the ET is basically just the time d during uh, or what the what is the accumulated value of the timer again so again that's just the same thing that they're showing you right here in the example and I showed you a simple way to go about finding that in assistance right here so no matter what you're doing inside of structure text you can do this so I can show you many 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 different things but you can also teach yourself just by coming in here and getting an example of it. Uh, here's an example of a, a, a counter up, right? So I just want to show you that. Now, here's an example of actual going in and testing the logic. So what I did is I came in and added another 
set of um, buttons. What I did is I, I, I basically went into my toolbox and this is a dip switch and I put that as a start push button which is coinciding with the start push button right here okay and I put the other one as a light that is my control relay which is corresponding right here so as soon as I push the start push, push button one second later the light will come on now let's go ahead and test this out right so first we want to build and building is checking it's compiling it's making sure you don't have any errors so you, it's good to build especially with structure text we're gonna go online we're gonna download um, and then we're gonna go to debug okay so debug I'm gonna come over here drag this to the side so ever you can see uh, real uh, easy you can see what's going on so we're gonna drag this to the side and then we're gonna drag this down so you can see the timer right now okay down here in the bottom left hand corner you can see the timer it's false right as soon as I cut this dip switch on it's going to start timing one second as soon as it times it's gonna turn the light on turn it off it goes off one second goes on okay so turning on again turning it turn the dip switch on which is the start push button it turns on the control relay now I'm representing the control relay with a light but it is still showing you how to do that but I want to show you some quick tips on finding just about anything you want to find now again this is a very simple code very simple do but I want to make sure I, I, I address this and show how this can easily be implemented now again the encapsulation is very important and if not done properly that's why I say you can use that assistance tool to find and do whatever you need to do so in that atmosphere we're gonna sh we're gonna stop we're gonna come out here we're gonna hit save and we're done so with all that said hope you got a lot out of that video especially where to go and find the uh, input assistance uh, and that will help you with examples and examples of just about anything you want to learn from the structure text with that said, we'll conclude and we'll see you guys on the next one.